Hello, and welcome back to the Seven Sisters. We are continuing to explore the new part of town. Been around here. And now we're heading up Desolation Road towards Pitching Court, and we'll see if we can sneak in the back door of the brothel and uh, explore what uh, treasures we might be able to find there along the way. Now this one is town gate, right? I'll pick this lock. Yeah, this one is a square tooth lock pick, so I couldn't pick it yesterday. Um, but now, oh, this is nice and dark. This is going to go through, this is going to give us a nice... Whoops. Nice way through to Oak Court, and there's fountain there. Good. Opening up more passageways. Let's jump up on top of this wall and over. Door, back door doesn't open, but the uh, basement door certainly does. Storage room, chest. What we got here? Oh, holy water! Everybody's got holy water. That's four vials for seven victims so far. Oh, this doesn't actually let us get inside, does it? He has not. Oh well. Oh, another froggy stick. Uh, I don't know that I really have anything to use them on, but uh, I do enjoy having my pets. I will set them free. Or maybe I'll set them free before the end of the night. Maybe, possibly, my inventory will carry over. Possibly not. Oh, ho. I just thought this was a nice corner to hide, but no. Nope. Dang. Can't reach the switch from here. It doesn't seem to be worth switch on this side. I see a guard in the distance there. Because of the plague, strangers are not admitted. Unless they bring their own lockpicks. Where are we now? This isn't the brothel anymore. This is further north, I think. Strangers are not admitted to... Oh no, this is actually the brothel. Okay. Madame Roxanne's. Damn. Getting stuck on doors. Alright, oh, that uh, hallway is much too tight. Damn it. Stop him. Oh well, I did die. Well done. Damn tile floors. Nope. Alright. Ah, only this bit's tile as well. That's just... That's just... Mean. No? It's mean. They're all mean. Civilians are uh, pretty easy to deal with. I hear another. Somebody's searching. All 
And we'll clean up that mess shortly. For now, let's just make sure nobody sees it. Right, whoever it was, they seem to have uh, stopped their search and gone back to their ordinary behaviour. Which floor are we on? There is a lower floor. We must be in the middle. Oh, maybe we are the lowest. It's not a lower floor, just a lower section. Oh, I see. Doesn't move while the gates are open. Safety first. No. Oh, whatever. Ah, I should have reached around the the, the door and turned the light switch off. I see. Would have made it a little easier to do all my knocking out there without all the screaming. I'm bothered by a bit of screaming, unless it's my own. Oh, what have we got? The butcher's key. Lynch the butcher has forgotten his key in my room. Someone should take it back to him tomorrow morning. Baby Jane. Well, thanks, Baby Jane. I might go see if I can find and rescue your poor Thoric baby from the butcher. Surely that's where he is. Uh, Alright, now with the lights off, uh, it's dark enough in here, I can dump everyone. Oh, here. You got Diego. Keep everyone in this room and not have to trip over them. Ezekiel. Lionel. Blanche. The mayor. And Baby Jane. Well, I got your letter, Baby Jane. Thanks. I'll be uh, paying a visit to the butcher, sure enough. Look at this. There's another guard here. Look at this lights on this whole bloody lift. Hello there. You appear to have a heart-shaped pendant. <coughs> I would like it. You also appear to be obstructing a guard in the performance of his duties. No convenient light switch just here. Make sure we don't accidentally get pushed out by physics. Turn left. <clears throat> Just don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. It's on your body. I don't want you to get all upset. That's right. Show thyself at once. Nope. Bloody metal strips on the floor. She doesn't seem overly bothered. Just an odd, odd noise, and she didn't see, uh, what's her name? Ramon here. Alright, we need to get behind her and take her. Can't reach from here. Just slip that little heart shaped thing off the necklace. Like so. Scarlet. So she's one of the uh, fire. I was going to say priestesses. Sisters. Turn around.
Right, before coming back, I roll. Oh, uh, I've got. I have a bit of a problem. I don't know if I can knock her out, right? I should be able to knock her out. I think. The problem is, if I can't. If I can knock her out, no problem. But I can't carry the body. Uh, as a side effect of the scripting for removing the necklace. It doesn't switch it. Doesn't. My eardrums do tap much today. Now she comes in here where there would be witnesses if she were to collapse in here, okay? <laughs> Hang on. You also have the, uh, the necklace I require. Well, this will be interesting then. I'll try and get yours as well. These are the two fire sisters. Your eardrums do tap over much. Can I? What was that? Intruder! Let's attack! This is gonna go badly for me. It's gonna go badly for me. All right, I survived. Oh wow! Look, we got spells of uh, fire fields. <laughs> well, everybody's upset that didn't go so smoothly. Let's go to the top floor. No thanks. Hi, an intruder is here. I'm most sure of it. Can't hear anyone through here. Yeah, I'm hearing them from down below. Somebody out there. Oops. More tiles. In the bathroom. Right, so I do need to get the second amulet there from the second sister, otherwise, there's no point in making a run to the font where I can destroy them just yet. This not see me. Okay, certainly just. Well, you did. Okay. Ah, uh, you've given up. What the devil? Come on now, I won't hurt you much. Oh, uh, Maxan, you're so unwieldy. Actually, behind the screen's probably better. Or behind the piano. What a stroke of good fortune to have. Okay. Oh, it's not darker at all. The screen doesn't properly block vision either. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's read. Those fool mechanists. What do they think they will achieve by closing the brothel? This is definitely an action of that fanatic brother Rufus. I wonder if that hateful little priest knows that brother Archie secretly comes here once a week. Or that he enjoys being spanked by Brunhilde and that he requires her to be dressed like one of their ridiculous female guards and to call her Trudy. Men. I have built my luck upon their stupidity, and yet, deep in my heart, I feel contempt for every single man who sets foot in here. They think they have to buy everything, even what they could have for free, if not for their arrogance and hypocrisy. Ha! Family men come here with the excuse that they need something which their wives refuse to give them. Bosh! They would be the first to condemn them if they did. All they ask of them is to be good mothers and housewives. 
Some of them come here and think they can buy even your feelings and your loyalty, like Mayor Flaggy. Did he think that I would fall in love with him? All that I wanted was to see if I was still able to make a man in his position fall at my feet. But I've had enough of him now. He's beginning to bore me. I could even return his jewels, but they mean nothing to me. I thought I had seen everything in my life, and yet I could not believe my eyes when the daughter of Judge Fowley came knocking at my door. She asked me if, I could, if she could work for me. I should be happy as Ophelia is a true beauty, but yet I can't... But yet I can't help but wonder why a girl from such a rich, upper-class family would make such a choice. That same day, Sir Giles de Ville arrived. He usually chooses a girl and takes her to his palace. He is a degenerate sadist, but he pays very well. However, I demand that the girl be agreeable. If not, I refuse to let her go. Unfortunately, as soon as he saw Ophelia, he wanted only her. I took her aside and I explained to her what she was going to face, but she insisted on going anyway. Two days have passed and Ophelia has not returned yet. I must say that I've never been so worried about a girl before, but she is different. It seems that something inside her has been turned off. I wonder what happened to her. Hmm. I'll take the jewels. The mayor clearly doesn't need them. Nothing. Manfred. He's a man, and his name is Fred, so they call him Manfred. Oh, so I could drop down on the balconies from here. Not much good it would do me. Nice view, though. Not a bad view at all. Oh. Should have just pointed at the noisy floor. Uh, oh, I forgot to play the piano! Oh. I can't play it. I'm gonna open and close it. Well, that's a shame. Oh, wait. What's this? Where does this take me? The balcony at the rear. Some small stretch of roof that I otherwise have no access to. Okay. Does this help me in any way? I. I believe it does. Alright. I'll come back there when I've got the second. Uh, I've got Scarlet's heart, I just need the other lady's heart. Heart jewel rather than, uh, you know, actually win her heart, because, you know. Questions are they all just. Sitting by the lift. Can she see me through these gates? I think not. Good. That's quite lucky for me. Oh, she can. She can see something. She's suspicious. Standing on the switches. Phew. Turn around just in time. nuisance. She doesn't go very far down that hallway at all. And he's certainly a nuisance. <laughs> and this patch of methyl here is a nuisance. <gasps> Who are you? Help! <laughs> Come here. Ah! 
Shoot at me again. I dare you. Ah ha ha. Don't you know how to use lifts? How did you even get up there? Come out from the shadows. Unfortunately, that means I've spooked them again and they'll take forever to calm down. Ah, uh, well, I forgot to take the money off the roulette table. Silly me. Oh, I can't spin the wheel. That door doesn't open. Alright, I'm going to go back to the top floor while I wait for them to calm down. Nope! I refuse. Alright, through this uh, passageway. It's a nice view from here, too. Lovely little corners. Up and over. This is a long letter. Oh. Well, that's less exciting. There's literally nothing here, just another way out. That's much less exciting, isn't it? I don't like that at all. Thought at least there'd be something to steal. Alright. Well, I wonder, could I reach that roof? Can I climb on this roof? Nope, it won't let me even up on the uh, parapet there. Uh, there's one thing I've noticed about uh, Lady Rowena's mapping in these uh, two missions. Well, two mission packs. Rowena's Curse, and this one is she's very particular about um, climbing. Lots of use of the invisible walls to um, prevent climbing. Lots of use of, well, very, very careful to avoid wood around the city unless there's actually somewhere to climb. So timing this is a pain. Did I get that gentleman? I can't remember. Okay, so now she's standing in the hallway. Walking down the hallway to the right. I think. I want, I want to wait to here so she goes back into the other room. There. Oh, I did get him. Good. Theo. I see the other the other woman is actually stuck in the door there. I can hear thy trembling breath. I hope you can. Hey. Uh nope. Let me escape us for now. But dad you know, I just realized I don't need to use this lift and worry about timing this lift. I can actually take a rope arrow up. Be sure, thief. I shall find thee. And come up at my own leisure. He's fast. Now I've lost him. Just see your head there. <coughs> Let's wait till she resumes walking. Oops. If you can, villain, I shall spot thee soon enough. I thought she saw me, but clearly she didn't. Unfortunately, with the uh, moss arrow I put down there, 
I can't even hear her walking around. That in the carpet. <laughs> All right. What I need to do, I don't need to be sneaky here. I just need a moment to run in. Take, take your other heart. Oh, that was actually sneaky enough. Violet's heart. And it is violet. Perfect. All right, ladies. Oh. Watch my dramatic exit. That's not really what I want. All right, I'll take the lift. Maybe. Can I actually reach the lift buttons from here? Oh, that one. Well, I won't take the lift while you're watching. I'll wait till you turn around, at least. Pay, uh... At least some respect for stealth. Good. Clang! Yeah, not much respect for stealth, but, you know, some. Well, that was more eventful than I planned, but also successful. Oh, I can't get through here. Okay. Right, from here, what's the quickest way back to uh, the cathedral? Oak Square and North, yeah. We have two more hearts to destroy, then I have to go back to the brothel and uh, loot that floor where they're roaming around, because then they will be unconscious and or dead. Oh, I forgot I haven't even dealt with him yet. Was just the wind. Not as exciting as I thought. Jorid, is that you? No, Jorid's elsewhere. Jorid was sick. Uh, looks like nothing. Jorid was sick and asked me to uh, replace him, Sylvester. All right. Just one less problem to deal with in a few moments. Oh, remember our two uh, wandering friends? I mean, plague victims, obviously. There they are. I didn't even explore the back of the cathedral, or I can't get back up on the roof. The beams collapsed. Okay. Don't let me disturb you, ladies. I mean, definitely don't let me because. Don't be a nuisance for all of us. Down we go. It's interesting, there's this central hollow with uh, mushrooms in it. I'm not sure why it's hollow. We have one red and one purple. Uh, which one's purple? Two sisters bound to fire. Oh yeah, there must be them, because they're the only ones we have left to do today. We neutralize the two sisters bound to fire. That means that's three sisters tonight, one last night. It's four of the six. Sorry, four of the seven. Sisters. Wait. Oh yeah. What do you, oh, you have one sister stone key already. Find three more. Did I not find the stone key? Oh yeah, I've got two. 
just the objective doesn't update. At the start of the night, I had one already, and I needed three more. And now I need two more, and that's. Just... I'm going back to the brothel firstly to find any loot on that floor, but also, I guess, to find these stone keys, I suppose. happily let them chase me because they're not going to be a threat but what I don't want is for them to wander I'm trying to avoid alerting them just so they don't wander through here and get stuck somewhere on a different path so I want them I want to know where they're going to be all right can I open this oh, that's going to need a key all right so we're going to have to go through there somewhere. Just back around through this gateway. Now I can be heedless of how much noise I'm going to make. Maybe I can't. Someone's still searching for me. Or just hurt me. Who? And where? That's unfortunate. Okay, on the other hand, instead of going by the lift, I can try. Try. Coming down here. That's probably about there. That was pretty quiet. Was actually successful. Good. What do we got here a ring and a note. My beloved Jane, I entrust this letter with my feelings because I don't have the courage to speak them to you. I love you with all my heart, and I would like you to marry me. I don't care about what you are and what you did in the past. If you will accept, we'll leave this cursed town and we'll make a new life for ourselves. I am only a baker, you know, and I'm not rich, but I saved up some money. And in any case, with my job, we will never die of hunger. There could be wars and famines, but people will always buy bread. While I wait for an answer from you, please accept this ring as a pledge of my love. Forever yours, Jeremy. Well, she kept the ring. From here, no. See me? No, she did not. Good. Yeah, she told me that time. <laughs> Despite being unarmed. Yeah, okay. Did you hear that? heard something. Question is, is she entering this room? Come on, it's over here. Come back here, damn it. Come you come here. That's the whole point of this exercise. I can't jump on the carpet to attract you to make noise to attract you. Come out and fight me. I don't plan to. 
It's not a fair, fair fight. You've got fists of steel and a lot more hit points than me. Leave the hand, maybe I can just lean forward. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Surrender and I'll kill you quick. That's not my plan. Oh, you get back here right now. Help! Over here. Uh, okay. Where did she run to? I thought she ran in here, but that sounds like it's coming from there. Ah, oh, there she is. Was it code 18, was it? Ah, bollocks. Just wait till my friends arrive. We You what? Oh. We got here. Handy. Can I pick up the crop? No. So she is super on edge. She's seeing me even in pitch blackness as I lean out into the hallway. Not good for me. Whose room is this anyway? This was Brunhilde. That was Baby Jane. Right, I'm just gonna wait a little. There's definitely something broken about the sound in here because I can't hear a thing. Apart from the ambient. Oh no, 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 no. No. You went. How did you see me there? I'm gonna have to use my other flash bomb here, I think. It's the only. Uh... Wait, did I already use it? No. Right. Drop your weapons. Right. Problem solved. Whoever you are. Brunhilde. Well, why don't you go back to your room and, uh... You left your weapon behind there, but uh, you're still more than a match for poor old cat. Alright, uh... These two of the Seven Sisters, Scarlet and Violet, are no longer... for this world. I can't tell if they're dead or merely unconscious. I can't imagine that they're dead, surely. I imagine all seven are going to be around for some kind of finale. That was violets. It's nice that they're named after the colour of their uh, heart gems and stone keys. Okay, that is three stone keys. Three sisters. There's no more secrets behind this painting or anything, is there? No. What else is in this hallway? Ophelia, Private, and Blanche. Blanche was downstairs, so she won't be in here. Does she also have some safe? She does. locked. She's not in here. She was the uh, infected victim we saw down in uh, St. Giles. Was, not St. Giles. Mr. Lord Giles. What's his name? Not Victor's map. Sir Giles. Sir Giles is uh, basement. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, uh, we have both the plot business and the thieving business. Oh, what's this? I'll look at that in a second. Um, plot business and thieving business in the brothel seems concluded. Poor Robert. He has never known how much I loved him. But how could I have told him the truth? Would he ever have understood the pain, the shame? I would never have bared to read the contempt in his eyes. May you be damned, Father. You have stolen my girlhood and my wish to live. You have taken away from me even every hope for a future. Since when I was a child, I have had to endure your morbid love and your dirty caresses. Then you made me believe that my mother had abandoned us, and I kept suffering in silence. I did not have anyone else but you. Blasted madman. I found out your secret place. My poor mother was there with her beautiful blue dress on. She still had at her neck the precious necklace she liked so much, and her darling cat was beside her, keeping her company forever. Bastard murderer, you have killed her. Ah, but you will pay for that. You would deserve that I denounce you, but I will do something worse. I will ruin your life as you have ruined mine. You will be mocked and humiliated to such a point that you will not even dare to go out of home. I'll do it, I shall damn my soul to achieve my goal until you'll find the nerve to put an end to your days. Uh, right, so the mother... Oh, we got a new objective out of that. Ophelia has suffered enough. She deserves a bit of happiness. Find proof of someone who still loves her and leave it on her bed. Also make sure that she returns to Madame Roxanne's alive and well. Optional. Uh, well, we know where she is. I did find the note from Robert earlier, but I can't remember where. Uh, I think it was in the first episode, so maybe I can go back and check the video in the next break to find out. To find Robert's letter. Oh wait, no, we've got it was Robert's diary. We've got it with me because I picked it up, right? Got Basil's journal. Robert's diary. Okay, Robert's off. <laughs> Objective. See? All right, we just need to make sure she gets home safely. Now, what is this chisel? No, oh, wheel peg. Aha! Okay. We're gonna have to go back to Judge Smalley's then. Her father's house. And, uh. Find. where he left her mother. We could hear the cat meowing. There seemed no way to discover where the cat was. Now I know better. Oh, we have. Viewing room. Viewing, uh. Holes, windows behind the paintings. Well, I guess some clients will pay for that too, right? Well, it's private. That's probably just for Madame Roxanne, uh, Madame Roxanne to uh, keep an eye on what the clients and the uh, girls are up to. Right. Now the only question I have is whether any of these bodies will be discovered. They're only unconscious, not dead, but it could interfere with Ophelia returning home safely. Well, home. Returning back here safely, potentially. But I guess we'll find out subsequently if that's the case. For now, we need to go north. I don't want to uh, cure her just yet, because I said I'm collecting holy water. I don't know how much I have to deal with. So, once I know how much holy water I have to deal with altogether, then I'll be able to assemble all the victims, hopefully, and cure some of them en masse. We've got, like, four vials so far and seven victims so far. Something of that nature. Oh, I still have no idea what St. Christopher's Cross is for. I was in St. Giles. That was Sir Giles. St. Giles, I keep calling him. Why do I keep calling him St. Giles? Uh, probably because there's a St. Giles church here in Edinburgh, but... 
Uh, we'll use the wheel peg later. Right, so I can't get through here without a key. I need a key. I need some way to open the west gate. Hmm, need a key for sewer station three as well. Am I? Well, maybe, maybe that's maybe I can't get to that part of town yet. Guess it's possible. Didn't even notice corpse here. Uh, curfew, blah blah. Yep. So I know of seven victims, I don't know if that's all. I have four holy waters. That's a lot of rats. Let's go back to the judge's place. I'll use this wheel peg, find where Ophelia's mother was. Perhaps she is another victim as well, rather than actually being dead. Too far north. It's the other side of the police station here. I think all the streets, except in the area I haven't been able to get to yet, I think all the streets are clear. Let's write that off. That's our friend the zombie upstairs. Another friend of the zombie here, so I have to be careful. This is the judges. Uh, Fowley, not Molly. Getting his name wrong. It's a carnival person. Wait. How did I get into the basement again? It was, it was the basement here. Yesterday there was stairs. I took the stairs. Well, I climbed in the window and then took the stairs. That's not going to work today, is it? Well, I took the lift rather than the stairs. I can't remember. Oh, she got angry at me there. Yeah, the window's been boarded up. So that's not the way to go. It wasn't through there. But I know I got to... Oh, calm down. I know I got in there earlier. I just don't remember how or where. It wasn't connecting to the factory, was it? No. Well, it's not if that's the factory. too good. Wasn't from the canal. Oh no, I'm not going to the dancing barrack again. Never fear, not with the music, not as long as the music keeps playing. Right. 
it's written there as well. It's the same one. I shouldn't mark it twice. So how do I get into Fowleys? How did I get into Fowleys before? I don't know. I'll go back around. Even if it's a long way. That's where uh, one fake victim is. Again. Keep getting turned about. Well, there's a place up there, but I can't get up there, can I? Don't know what it is or where it is, but it doesn't look very accessible. Actually, that's a good question. There's a, there is a door there. Mm. That door was there last time as well, but I haven't been able to get there. I haven't been able to find the key for uh, sewer maintenance station one. There's two doors for the maintenance station, and neither of them have been accessible to me last night or tonight, which is unfortunate. I tried jumping across to that balcony, I did, and there was no way in from there. Why can't I remember how I got there? That's the dancing park. Fresh veggie place. Wandering back now, having given up on finding me. This door's down. This is quite frustrating. Quite frustrating. Is that a window I haven't been in? Oh. No, it looks like. Oh, maybe. Maybe. It doesn't look like it. I don't know how I'd get there. mantle that. Um, that's not actually a window, that's just a hole right through to look impressive. Alright. How did I get into the judge's place? Into the judge's basement? Um, it wasn't from his house, was it? No, I got in by the window last time, but there was a way out from the basement. Where did it go? Why can't I remember? It was the sewer. Of course. The door from the sewer. And the easier to get to the sewer is through Bassos. Alright. Oh, my memory is terrible. His place was just by the bridge, if I recall. Which would mean it's around here. I could be wrong about my this memory, of course. I'm wrong about so many things today. Mm, uh, yeah, maybe. No. That's the factory. This is a dead end. Or maybe that's sewer station one, maintenance station one, I don't know. This does This does open. Oh! Here we are. This explains the wheel. Where's that pig? That explains the cat. The cat wants out. No? I have to stand really close. 
Oh, poor cat. It died a second before we opened it. Mrs. Fowley. Well, too late to save her. A lot too late. Too late to save her cat. Okay, so all we can do is take her uh, necklace and uh, keep it for ourselves. All right, now what do I do with the crystal cross? I don't know, I've not come across any reference to it that I can think of. We have the butcher's key, how come I can't get to the butchers? Surely I should be able to get to the butchers. At least six. I know of seven. I'm guessing there's eight. We need 4,000 loot. We have no, how much do we have? Nowhere near 4,000, right? Gotta be more building salute. The art collectors, no doubt. 3,700. Okay, we are near nearly 400. 4,000. So, surely I can get to the northwest part of town to get to the art collectors' place, to get in here, Pigeon Court, Lynch. But this place seems to need a key, and this seems to be permanently locked. How do I get there? I guess the only answer is we can go back and take a look. Um, so let's head up back to that part of town. North. Northwest. Yeah, I can get through here, the market gate. Uh, I would kill for a healing potion about now. Or three. But honestly, I don't need hit points if I'm not getting into fights, and staying out of fights is probably. Uh, Pretty good advice for Carrot anyway, regardless of anything else. Did I jump across the canal this time? I can't remember. Let's see an open window, that was the other side. Um, that's not, not where I'm going. going we going through here. Been in there, yep. So a clock tower walk, apart from the horrendous music, seemed to be a dead end as far as getting into Argans, because there were bars of the door and the window. Um so it didn't really help me at all. Desolation Rose seems a dead end as well. But perhaps I missed something. <sighs> missed something like... Something like just climbing over the fence. Maybe I'm not supposed to do it this way, but uh, works for me. I don't know why I can't hear you, mate. It's very odd. Surge. Come out here now. Uh, well, that was easier than I expected. Surge and Sunny. Butchers. So yeah, this guy needs a key, which I don't have, and they didn't have keys on them, did they? Let's get the keys, Sonny. 
Nope. Nope. All right. We'll put a statue. Creepy Burk. Got another gate here. It's got a lever. It should be openable from the other side, but we're not at the other side. Oh, there's a place up here I haven't been to. I think that's uh, repair territory, is it not? Oh dear. Somebody was drank a lot too much. Trying to relieve them of their unfortunate burden of their goods. <laughs> now, how do I get down without taking damage? Climbing down the rope would be one option, but you know, that's way too easy. Let's try this lamp. Perfect. Alright, Butcher, we have to rescue poor little Pinky from your clutches. Tell sometimes. Oh, somebody's here. Damn, I'd like to know who had the brilliant idea of closing all the gates in town during the curfew. I must have forgotten the frickin' key in Baby Jane's room, but it was too late to get back, so I had to beg Sonny to open the gate. I also had to promise him a free week of steaks. Eh, hey, but it's worth it. That little Baby Jane is a true morsel. What a difference from my dried up herring of a wife. Well, what the hell, I'm still a vigorous and pleasant man, and look at what an ugly and frigid woman has fallen to my lot. A well back to work. I have two barracks to butcher tonight, and I'd better take care of the barrack calf which they brought to me, if I don't want to get into trouble. His owner's looking for him. She has affixed those missing posters throughout the town. But, I mean, how can one grow fond of those beasts? They're dirty and nifty. I have to coat the stables almost once a month. Fortunately, I have engaged that pagan to help me. And they are also stupid. Even though they see me bump off their buddies almost every day, they never rebel. On the contrary, they seem to be affectionate. They even guard the farm. But the baby barrack is not like the others, I must admit. But the little bastard seems very clever. He tried to run away from the first moment, and I had to lock him in the hut. He doesn't cease a moment to howl and cry. Damn, if I don't make him stop, they will hear him up to the other side of town. Tomorrow, calf barrack stakes. So I'd better, better rescue him tonight. God. Oh what? Stop right there. It's like too late. Oh, that's a fight. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I thought that was a weapon you had. Did you just slaughter this barrack? I didn't really mean to do that. I might, I might reload. <laughs> yeah, don't kill any civilians, even if they are. I will reload, even if they are armed. That sound effect is meant to be this barrack who's slaughtering, or whether that's the the calf, and I'm too late. I'll find out, I guess. Actually, let's make sure you're well out of sight with that guard wandering around. Being in the light is fine. Is the guard coming back here? Probably will as soon as I move. What's that? 
nothing. Nothing. Only silences. Always only silences. Sleep in silences. Money! Zandy! Oh. I can't get through the curtains, can I? Can I? I'm gonna put these people in their own shop window. That'll, uh. Lynch. That'll teach them. <gasps> Food! Buried legs. Well, not very healthy for me. Not, re not restoring a single hit point, but, uh. Yeah, sausages. The guards will get a good laugh out of that at least. Poor Lynch will never live it down. Right, where are those sausages? Sausages! Yeah, still not a single hit point. Guess buried, buried meat is not the uh, tastiest, healthiest. Oh, we have several barracks. Actually, I probably want my escape route. Ah, uh, what? I hear spiders as well. Poor little piggy. Not to let him out soon. It's only unconscious. Ah, oh, whoops. Let's go steal all that food and eat it. Take me. Luckily for me, but I just can't use doors. Flaming uh, furnace for something. Okay. That's too noisy. I don't have anything to destroy in a furnace, do I? Before the art place, okay. What's oh, what's handy? Ah, good thing I explored the barrack pit. Somebody might be coming. No, I'm not coming this way. Should be wandering the house. This was once a respectable zone, but it has fallen into a complete state of degradation now, and bands of thieves have made it their headquarters. I have had bars put on the doors and windows. I became a prisoner in my own home, and still I feel not safe. The damned barracks of Lynch, Lynch the Butcher have dug a tunnel up to my basement. Fortunately, there is a solid iron door which prevents access to my apartment, but you can never know. I'm sure that I won't be able to sleep tonight. I would like to leave this today, but I won't leave until I can convince Sir Giles de Ville to sell me the Christ St. Christopher Cross. An ancient relic which belonged to his father. Until now, he has refused to sell it. But right now, he's in a tight corner. If he wants to keep on with his vices, he will have to deal with me. After that, I will leave this town and I'll never come back. And the objective 
This seems interesting. Find this cross of St. Cristobal and make it yours. Optional. What's this bowl for? It's just a bowl. Ah, oh, this is his front front door. Okay. The bars have just retracted. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Is he not coming any further? Right. Well, I will cut the episode here. And I will see you shortly for the next episode. Hopefully the last one for the night. And then we'll be on to the third night. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.